All right. Now here is a short video on how to uh, use Mixamo uh, models and animations with Godot. Because for some reason I couldn't find a, a good uh, explanation of how to do this. Because a lot of them they missed details or I had problems. But whatever. Here is how I got it to work after struggling with it for a long time. So go to Mixamo.com, create an account. Uh, obviously using a, a totally real name anyway um, click on characters um, if you're just starting I recommend using one of the um, X bot or Y bots because they're very simple and uh, they work for a lot of stuff but let's make some let's look for something cool um, let's see let's get like a soldier dude um, here we go Steve the soldier yes use this character Okay, now we have our character. We'll need a default animation. Let's get a T-Pose. Um, okay, so now we got Steve and his, his default animation is T-Pose. Let's, let's download that. Um, let's see, click download and then make sure to select with skin on this one. It's gonna download it as FBX. Click download. This is probably gonna take several seconds because uh, this is most likely hundreds of megabytes. For some reason, this model has a lot of detail on it. I think it's like 50,000 polygons or something. Okay, there we go. Well, we got it downloaded. Now let's get another one. Let's do idle. Because we need a good idle animation. Uh, let's get one where he moves a little bit. Because a lot of these, the movement is so subtle, I can't even really... Uh, I can't even really tell that it's idle. There we go. <laughs> there we go let's get that that's so happy okay click download make sure to do without skin because we don't want the the mesh we just want the animation the t-pose will have the mesh on it not this one so let's click download should be a lot faster okay and now um, let's do walking uh, there we go uh, walking now notice how he's actually moving we don't want that we want to do in place because we'll ha this is just the animation we'll handle the actual movement so click in place click download make sure without skin click download all right now we got all those downloaded now if you look at the actual files um, you'll notice the T pose is the one with the mesh so that's 117 megabytes Wow and the idle is less than a megabyte and the walking is less than a megabyte nice so that's a good way to save space now let's open these in blender okay fire up blender hit a and then x to delete the default stuff to file import fbx and go to our download and let's make sure to first do the t pose by itself click that click import probably take a second okay looks like it imported now let's do file import FBX and let's do the other two we downloaded make sure not to select T pose again just do the idle and walking click import okay now if you look over here we've got our armature we've got three armatures now the first one is the T pose so select the other two um, hit X to delete them yep delete and now uh, we've got our armature and we've got our uh, mesh. Looks like we've got a mesh, the skin, and then we've got like the skin and details, and then we've got like the clothes. So that's that's what we want. But there is one small issue. If you look at the armature here, um, and you look at its transforms, like why is this rotated 90 degrees on X? Why is it scaled to 0 0.01? It's like, what the frack? That's going to cause huge problems. It should all be, all of these transforms should be applied before exporting them. But for some reason, Mixamo doesn't do that. So we have to deal with it. So let's see, let's, um, both of these, um, okay, let's fix the 90 degrees. So select the armature, go to object, and do apply rotation. So now nothing has changed, but it's reset that as zero. And I know there are hotkeys to do this, but I want to show how to do it without that for people, because I used to know how to do all the hotkeys and I forgot them because it's been like 10 years. But anyway, now it's reset to zero, and now um, 
everything is still scaled. Uh, click armature, do object, um, clear. This will clear the scale. Clear scale. And now it gets gigantic, which is totally fine because we're going to scale it down. But now they're all set to one. The scales one, scales one, one, one. Except for this, it doesn't matter if this is off because it's, it's just a sub thing on the uh, actual mesh. But the armature is, is reset. So now let's check out our animations. Click on the armature and then go to animation and click on the uh, the bottom panel here. It says dope sheet, change that to action editor. And now we have our, our little dude here and our animations are right here. So we've got idle and we've got walking and I'm assuming T-pose, nice. Okay, so let's rename these so they don't have these ridiculous names. Let's call this T-pose. And what is this one? Walking, let's just call it walk and idle. Okay, now everything should be ready to export, but now would be a good time to do file, to uh, save the, as a blender file. So do file, save as, and save it somewhere in case you mess up. But now we can export it. Do file, export, and we want to do GLTF, which is what Godot uses. And here, um, you have two options. You can do binary format or text format, GLB or GLTF. Let's do a GLTF because it's it's text space, so it's better for version control, and you can open it up and edit it, just like a big blob of JSON. So GLTF, and I'm gonna call this um, Soldier, and click Export. This will probably take a while. When it's exporting, it's blocking, and it makes the uh, the mouse cursor a little black square. So while this is happening. We'll just have to wait and let's look at our um, our CPU usage go through the uh, the stratosphere. Oh, look at that! And I think it's done. Is it? That was unusually fast. Is it done? Okay, it's done. Cool, that was fast. Okay, now we can open this in Godot. Well, first, well, let's take our new shiny GLTF file, 170 megabytes. Let's copy or let's cut that and put it inside of our Godot project. We just have our Godot project, then we have our assets folder with Soldier. So now it's in there. And now let's switch back to Godot. And when Godot gets focused, it'll start importing, importing that asset. And this could take a while. Let's watch our our CPU meltdown here. Oh wow, eight gigabytes. I need to. I only have sixteen gigs of RAM. This could take a while. I should put some elevator music in here while it's doing that. <laughs> non-stop copyright infringement non-stop infringement yeah this is one of the reasons why uh, if you could flip back to blender and you look at our model and down in the bottom right here it has the number of vertices and faces and triangles this thing is 50,000 triangles that is a uh, quite a ridiculous number for the uh, for this soldier here that does not look like it is worth a budget of 50,000 but okay it's it's done I think let's see here okay um, now if we look at our file system tab here we have asset soldier for some reason when it finishes exporting it does a little X here um, if you close Godot and reopen it, it, it 
will have like the proper icon, but whatever. It's got it extracted all the files. If we uh, right click it and do open, it will do some more importing and show us the actual GF GLTF file. Also take a couple of seconds. There we go. Look at that. And our soldier who looks like he climbed through a river. He's all wet. But anyway, now before we import it, if you click on the root node here and you see this apply root scale, make sure this is set. And let's change it to 0 0.01. Because when we resized it and blended, it was just going to gigantic a thousand times. So let's reset it back to one so this will scale it back down. Uh, what else should we do? Um, oh, our animation, click on idle. Uh, loop mode is none, that's fine. Actually, let's make idle loop. So click it and do linear. It's gonna loop, it's gonna restart as soon as it ends and then walk. We want to that to also linear uh, loop. So that should be done. Now click re-import and hopefully this will work. There we go. Now, if we right click this, if we right click the, um, the GLTF file and we do new inherited scene, we have our guy right here. Look at that. Very nice. Um, let's save him somewhere. Create a folder, soldier, or soldier scene. And if we click on the soldier and we look at our transform, it is scaled to one. Yes. Thank, thank whatever Lord in the sky did that. Thank you, Jesus. So the rotations are all zero. Armature, transform, zero. Rotation zero, scale one. The same with skeleton and the meshes. Not that it matters now, but yes, it's all set up. So now we can click on the animation player and play our idle animation and look at that very nice perfect uh, what else is there there's t posing which is a nice one to default to and walking very good very very good now now we can just use it like however we, however we want so if we wanted to we could click on the skeleton and do um, reset poses and then do up, um, create physical skeleton and now we've got bones bones in there so there we go that's how you do it uh, uh, let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you guys later